A country for old people. The president loves the youth but gives key strategic jobs to old men and women according to a review of appointments um, by the Kenya Gazette. Let me just take you uh, very quickly through this. I want to begin with the latest. Mary Wamboy, who is now the chair of the National Employment Authority. A lot of Kenyans have shared their sentiments around this. As you can see, Moody Awari, 91 years old, is a chair for Sports, Arts and Social Development Fund. Uh, Manu Chandari at the age of 89, the chancellor for the Technical University of Kenya. It goes on, frankly, in bet at the end here, at 66, the Chair of Agriculture, Finance and Cooperation. How's that in the back of your mind? Now, let me flip over to page 29 of the same newspaper, the standard newspaper, the inside part of it. Page 29, experts raise red flags on joblessness. So it says that the Institute of Human Resource Management has expressed concerns over how increased job losses in the country are a worrying trend that might lead to more crime and broken families. Yesterday we were having this conversation with a group of other experts just seated here and we were discussing how it is that in this nation, those below the age of 35 make about 70% of this country. Median age is around 19. The most frustrated age gap when it comes to finding a job, ironically, are people between the ages of 18 to 25. These are people who have just cleared university. They are starting life, right? Yet that research that was done tells us that they are twice as more likely to find it difficult to get employment. The irony of both pages. I'll start with you, Honorable. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh for having me in this uh, conversation. And I know before we go to the main topic, you, you know, let me tell you, let us not criminalize our society. This is where I come from, you know. Let us not criminalize. Criminalize a section of the society? Yes. You're, you're criminalizing people with experience. This is experience. That's number one. They have a lot of experience, to be honest to you, you know. Number two is, look at the, the, the what is this job they're coming to do, you know. These are chairman of boards. Chairman of boards is like a trustee, you know. It's not a full-time job. Most of them actually are non-executive, right? right? Meaning what? Meaning that maybe you come once or twice in a, in a month or, 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 or in, in a quarter. So how do you expect a youth, for example, who is very energetic, as you said, at the age of 35 and so on, how do you expect that person to, become, to come and sit in an office once or twice in a knee? I've worked in public service before, up to a level of a CEO before I left. And you, you, you can't expect this. Number three, Waika. How do you expect a youth, for example, who have just come to invest, from university to come and advise a CEO, for example? How? What's wrong with that? No, no. First of all, he has no experience. You know, this, uh, let me tell you, there are various uh, kinds of jobs in this country. Executive jobs, jobs are for the youth. Millions and thousands of jobs being created by government are for the youth. These are only trustees. These are people who come and, 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 and you know, and, and, uh, moderate things that are happening in Aparasato. How do you expect a youth, for example, of 25 years, of 18 years, to come and moderate a CEO Mishmur, of, of 35 too young, with, a, with a lot of experience? But you tell me you how? can get a 30-year-old at 35-year-old. But, uh, but what, 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 what will you come and say? What will you come and tell a CEO, for example, who has a lot of experience? And this CEO needs to be guided to come up with more broader even policies and implementation. How do you expect that? Uh, so it is the nature of job, Waika. It is not about who gets the job. Mm -hmm. It's the nature of the job. This job is for all men. I will agree with you. This is a job for all men. Wow. 35 those, and above. Okay. Those are jobs for old men. Yes. Now, if you, <laughs> they, they, it's true. That's Experience. So it almost sounds like in the qualifications, it should be, no, it must like, be 35, <laughs> 50, or oh, over. In fact, oh, in fact, that should be the qualification. That if you become, yeah, in my, this, my, you have asked my opinion. Yes. If you ask my opinion, 35, right yes, opinion. 35 and above should get these jobs of chairs. But now, when you come to company secretaries, you know, and so on and so forth, that is when you can have the youth. And they are there. The youths are there. So right. why don't you go for their jobs? I would wish Waika tomorrow come up with other jobs in the same parastato, for example, right? And put uh, them on the front page yes. of the paper. Yes, head of, of, of accounts, head of procurement, the policy. These are young people that five years. That is why, okay. why do you want to consider them just a, a job, only a job, Do a you chairman? agree with what he says? And is it too simplistic to believe that if you gave these jobs to young people, these 20, 50, 100, maybe 1,000 jobs of, of chairs, of boards and so forth, that you'd sort the unemployment issue that we have in this country? Is it too simplistic to believe that that would deal with unemployment well i certainly don't but i've had the pleasure of meeting mashimua now and i was hoping we can be friends now i'm sure we'll be friends <laughs> um i i differ in principle and the reason why i differ is because of the content of the advice that these people are going to give
Certainly they have experience. And I'd love to have some of them sit in those boards and advise both the chair and the CEO. But they don't have the energy to peruse through the documents, peruse through the papers and see this is failing and this is not uh, being done. That's a generalized statement. How, yes. you, can you say you've studied each of these men? And no, 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 no. He, 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 he started. I'm just following. Like yeah. I said, we are good friends. <laughs> uh, let me also generalize a little bit. But the point is, a lot of these guys indeed only come to these board uh, meetings once in a quarter. They do, not follow up, they do not follow up and see that this is the strategic plan that you set out to do. These are the achievements that you have so far done. Um, and this is how your, your financials look like. And we are uncomfortable with A, B, C, D. And, and so the, the, the issue that I have is not necessarily that they have experience or the lack of it, but the content of their advice. But beyond that also, um, young people have more passion because they will be here 20, 30, 40 years after they have given this advice. And so they want to ensure that the quality of, of service being offered will ensure that when they are old and, and retired in, in their homes, that they can still access uh, government services properly. And, and that passion is required in, in the advice that is being given to the CEO. And, and the point that uh, Moshimo is saying that uh, they lack the expertise uh, no, I differ. I differ totally. It is not like that because 10 years, I mean, you graduate around 24, 25. 10 years after that, that's 34, 35. Come on. You qualify to be a CEO. And as long as you qualify to be a CEO, you qualify to sit in that board. Okay, interesting wow, point. Interesting, right. But um, be the, let me just uh, be the devil's advocate here and uh, sort of defend them and say, would it be any different if we had young faces, be there Zinzi and Wahiga's faces appearing here, would it be any different in terms of what would we do that is different from what these other older people would be bringing to the table? Would it make any difference? For one, from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> 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 but I think I'm looking at this as a strategic custodian of the government's operations mm -hmm. at a parastatal level. Mm -hmm. So today we are all working towards Vision 2030. We have 11 years to go before we actually hit 2030 and we are looking and trying to see how have we gotten there. Now, if I look at the age of these people, so the youngest here with, on the front page is 66. So by then the person will potentially when will be about 77 years of age. And if you're running as a chairman for a parastatal, you typically have two terms. So you run for six years with an option of extending to nine years. So effectively, you're saying these are the people who are going to deliver us or get us to Vision 2030. Mm -hmm. Now, my point of uh, dissension is this. Yes, they are very important with regards to mentorship and actually being custodians of the relationship between the parastatal and the executive. But I think there's an opportunity for younger people who are experienced, but more importantly, they have a knowledge base that's very different from the uh, people who are represented and, and here. And perspectives. And perspectives. Well. And then if we are trying to get to the element of enhancing jobs, creation. You potentially find the younger people, they're in the arts, they're doing different things. The hustle mentality, it's very different and truly today the way the, the world is operating from a business perspective is very different. So yes, I appreciate that this is the mentorship that we need, but I think there's also an element and opportunity to have vibrancy. People who are um, attuned to the way the world is looking like today, the way the world could look in about 10 years so that you have people who are ahead of us and can show us where we have come from. They manage the executive relationship, but then you have younger people who are also sitting in these spaces and even being given the opportunity to be the custodians of the vision of the government and transcend this to the parastatals. Would you have any idea of how other economies are handling this push and pull between jobs for the old versus a, a bulging youth group? <laughs> Do you have any idea of what's sort of happening elsewhere? So a lot of things are happening, but there's a lot of leverage with regards to technology. So for instance, we have to commend the Ministry of ICT. So the way it's actually pushing out the fiber network, the Huduma um, network services, because we are getting to an, an, uh, an economy where the young people will work for a fewer hours, but then leverage on technology. So for instance, today, e-commerce is a big thing. Fuliza is a big thing. People do use that credit to be able to buy and sell services. And if when you walk around, you'll find a young person has an eight to five, or rather nowadays it's probably even nine to four. Before that, I have interacted with somebody who sells cakes, so they wake up at three, they make their cakes, they sell them online. So on their way to work, they'll go through the street, but then they've accessed this market using technology. So there's an element of technology being able to help us leapfrog. So we already have things like m -Pesa. So how do we connect this to the current business opportunities and move forward? So I think the younger generation understands a different language. It's something that I also don't understand. The way they program, like the language is very different. We've 
move from numbers, I mean, from letters to numbers. So that's a different world that they are operating in. And if that's the bulk of the, of the people in this country, that's the consumer, that's the person that will be driving demand for the government services that have been put in place today. So that voice must be represented. And we can actually take an opportunity or even take a risk and say, why don't you come and create this vision and champion it? Because this person will be different from the CEO, but they have other board members, but then they can be able to have that voice and say, this is pertinent to this conversation. You must be able to address the demand that is coming on board. You must be able to take us to the vision 2030. We have a different mindset. We deserve this opportunity. Okay. Uh, Musambi, what are your thoughts? Well, I would look at it this way. A country for all people may be a misnomer to say, uh -huh. and they look at it two ways. In both private and public sector, where they pick boards of Safaricom Barclays Bank, you'll find older people are the chairman. That is the same across the board. I've had personal experience so, where... Uh, you're looking at private sector? No. Across the board, whether you go to the US, to America, the principles okay. remain the same. Mm -hmm. However, it is a mix that matters. I've been on a board with a guy 30 years old, running with me on the way I work at Kenya Railways. I came in when I was just barely 40. It means that the mix is what is more important. You have to have a bit of experience and age so that you have transition. If you're going to achieve the Vision 2030, you can't have all of us being 35 or all of us being 69. There's a mm -hmm. problem. There's no transfer of knowledge, no transfer of skills. Mm -hmm. So at all points in time, when you went to school, your lecturers were older than you. Mm -hmm. It will never change. Mm -hmm. You'll always have somebody older and younger to transfer the skills and knowledge. So, so where, from where you're sitting, most of these parastatals, are they able, are they achieving that? Are they able what I'm saying to is, that? most of oh, you, these, you know what you'll note from this article is chairman. By default or by extension, like professors in university, they are older. But it doesn't mean there are no younger people in the boards. There's no mix. As the uh, Honorable Sosing said, there will be the CEOs, Joshua Gad of KCB, your CEO at 38, is running the company. But the chairman is much older. It's the mix that makes the thing work. If you're going to achieve Vision 2030, you can't have just everybody under 25 or everybody over 69, you have to have a mix. So what I have learned, my experience is handed over to the next, so the mix is important. So when you look at this thing, look at it in totality. Don't just look at the chairman, look at the chairman plus the rest of the board. If the entire board is over 69, then you have a problem. But you will not find that. But Mr. Musembi, don't you not think if you were striking that balance that um, unemployment under Uhuru's regime would not be where it is right now? Unemployment has different yeah. factors. Mm -hmm. This is not unemployment. This is not, well, this is not what makes unemployment. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is the ability for the young man who finishes the school to find something to do in the economy. Mm -hmm. The economy has to grow and generate the works. Every year we're releasing one million youth into the workplace. Yes, sir. If we do not create a million jobs every year, we're going to have a problem. But who creates the million jobs? The government me is supposed and to you. produce a conducive environment for you and I to do that. Yes, yes me, me and you thriving in the economy create jobs. When I started off, of course I was employed. I've moved on, I've employed people. And the same for your part and other people's parts. You did not start off as an anchor of citizen, you grew. So we must give people opportunity to grow. So the aim, I believe, the government should be doing is ensuring the space grows. And opportunities, as she said, come in different ways. Whether it's ICT, whether it's MPESA, opportunities come in different ways. But when they come, take your opportunity and grow. And that is how you create jobs. And that, of course, is a challenge for all governments across the world, right? Creating opportunities for growth. Because you can never envision where the next Facebook will come from. It was not a business when it first started off. Now there's YouTube channels which are competing with your citizen, but <laughs> they didn't exist before. True. Opportunities, and that's what we need to do. Uh, so, okay. Thank you. All right. So